Today I want to share with you about a cool product that I was lucky enough to get to try out and play with over the past couple of months. I absolutely love it. It's the Polaroid Zip Instant Mobile Printer. Uh, and the basic concept is that it pairs wirelessly with your cell phone via Bluetooth and you can print pictures off of it on the go anywhere using the um, free app that you can download that Polaroid put out to to go with it. This is so much fun. I have been using it uh, in my Erin Condren Life Planner over the past couple of months in a decorative fashion just to you know, for special days when I want to remember something fun that's happened or a special memory. Uh, and I'm actually gonna walk you through how I how I use the print how I use the printer in my uh, planner. I think it's just a fun element to add to your planner. If you like to decorate your planner or if you do more functional planning, it can be nice to use just once in a while. Recently I've been using like one photo a week unless I have like a special something going on. Erin Condren actually partnered with Polaroid to release um, special kits that you can buy. You can buy just the printer with the sticker or you can buy a kit that comes with um, the neoprene sleeve as well which fits the planner and the printer. Um, and it's just a fun partnership and I really really love my little sticker. It's one of my favorite covers actually from my Erin Condren Life Planner. It's nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Uh, and it fits perfectly on the printer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you everything about the printer and even walk you through how I decorate using the Polaroid zinc paper that's like sticky paper uh, in my planner. So if you're interested in watching, here we go. So this is what the printer looks like. It's pretty small as you can see. Actually, let's go ahead and measure it. Um, let's see. It's uh, just under three inches wide by four and a half inches long by I would say three quarters of an inch tall. So it's very, very small and light, portable. That's kind of the whole purpose of it since it's an instant photo printer. Now when you order it from Erin Condren in a bundle, it comes like this. And you get the neoprene case and the sticker and then the printer is packed inside. And it's all packed up in a nice bundle like that. This is what the box looks like. Again, very small and compact, so there's not a lot of waste there. Comes with instructions on how to use the printer and how to download the mobile app so that you can sync it wirelessly through Bluetooth through your phone. And then, of course, it comes with a USB charging cord. That's how you charge it, via USB. And also, it comes with 10 sheets of um, photo zinc paper that looks like this in a little packet. Now you can also buy this separately in either a 30 or 50 pack. I have a 50 pack here and they come in these little 10 sheet um, bundles and you load them up 10 sheets at a time. There's a specific way to load them with the, there's a barcode and everything. I already have paper loaded up in there so I'm not going to show you that today but it's very very simple. I will go ahead and take the top off you so you can see the paper loaded up in there and it's all ready to go. So to use the printer you need to have of the app downloaded so you can connect via Bluetooth to your phone. So the first thing you do is you make sure that your printer is all charged up and then once it's charged you turn it on and when you turn it on this little light goes on like so. And then you go into your app, you set the connection up via your Bluetooth settings on your phone. Um, so I know they have an iPhone app and I'm pretty sure they have a Samsung, is it Android app um, that's compatible. And then, the, so you have the little Polaroid Zip app here, and it has a little dashboard where you can do quick pit, print, edit print, secret view, collage, name card, and my zip. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, before we get into actually like printing anything out, I just want to show you a little example of how I've used the, um, the Polaroid Zip photos in my planner. This was a week that we were in Hawaii and I wasn't doing any real planning. I just wanted to do a decorative week. So I used it very decoratively. Um, you can see they're really nice quality photos too. And you can kind of size them to be whatever you want. I made some that were little squares. I made some that were just a little bit bigger. Sometimes I just use one on a day like on a, you know, when I have a whole week of actual stuff that I'm planning, sometimes I have a little fun day that I want to share, so that's another way I use them. 
And then I'm actually going to show you today how I'm going to print one out and stick it in and show you a, a more decorative spread as well. So this was a day that we had friends over and we built a fire outside and, and roasted marshmallows together. So I want to go ahead and print um, something from my gallery. So I'm going into my gallery. I have a lot of pictures so I'm going to scroll through and get the right one. Here it is. This is the picture I want. Um, it has some directions and stuff on how to use it. Now you can size this to be any way you want. Um, now I want it to fit in here a little bit better. I want it to be able to fit inside this box. I'm going to make it a small square and it's kind of a waste to me to use a whole sheet just to make a very small square. You can see I can size it any way I want but that would be a waste of sticker paper. So what I like to do is make more of a collage because then I can print several pictures at once. Um, so I actually saved a bit of a spread on my next week for you when we were in St. Louis with our family um, that I was going to decorate on camera and show you how I use stickers. So here's one I already have printed out. Um, so I have some stickers to decorate, some planner stickers, and I want to print out some photos from my weekend. So I'm going to make a little collage with different photos from the week before and that weekend in St. Louis. So I'm just picking out some stickers that I want to have from that weekend. And I picked the four box um, you know, option because I feel I can get the most bang for my buck with that. Um, in terms of you know maximizing the paper. Okay, so I've picked four photos I want to print out. Just make sure this is still on. So you can also size them up or size them down. So I'm just going to kind of fiddle around with these to make them what I want them to be. You just, it's just a, like a drag and sweep and drag kind of thing, you know, with your fingers. Okay, now that I've got it the way that I want, I go to the little print icon at the bottom. It shows me a preview looks good to me. I'm going to print it. It's going to send the image and it's going to print out of my little printer right there in just a moment. And now I have a couple of weeks worth of pictures I'm putting on one page. I'm going to show you how you can also, you know, kind of um, edit them to make them fit into the Erin Condren boxes a bit better. Um, so it takes a couple minutes. It's pretty fast. Um, and I think the quality is pretty nice as well. So now it's sent the image, the printer is getting it, and it's going to start making a little whirring soise, noise in just a second. There it goes. Now this is inkless printing, which I think is really cool. Somehow the paper, um, you know, has the pigment in it and the, the image is sent that way. Um, you can see I tried to use up all of the space on the paper to try to maximize um, my pages here. Okay, so there's my first printed image that I'm going to show you. I've got my campfire picture, and then I've got a few pictures from my weekend in St. Louis. That's my brother's dog, Oscar, my niece, Emma, and Krispy Kreme donuts, which are some of my favorites. Now before I go ahead and decorate this page, I want to go ahead and print out a couple more pictures for this spread because I'm doing a more decorative thing. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another collage. And this time I'm going to just do two pictures and I want them to fit a bit more um, accurately in the boxes, in the Erin Condren boxes. Now the paper is two by three inches and the Erin Condren boxes are one and a half inches. Um, so you can do two two pictures perfectly edited into one piece of, of this photo paper, this Polaroid zinc paper. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick two pictures. We went to school with the girls that day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this one and this one. Um, and I'm actually going to turn them on their side so they're kind of like box, Aaron Condren box shapes. Um, so this is Dawn with Emma and I just want it to fit so you can kind of see what they're doing playing a math game and here's Dawn with Jaden doing a math puzzle. Um, so I like the way those came out. So they're going to print on their side but they're going to fit perfectly in these boxes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send those to the printer and I'll have my second set of images to play with to show you. And there you have it. I have my two collages and I have got six pictures out of them. Of course you can print a full sheet as well, but I like to play with these in my plan planner and have them, you know, customized size. Um, so that's why I like to play in the um, collage setting of the Polaroid Zip app. Um, and it's got a lot of different um, configurations of photos you can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and print the and cut these all out. 
Um, and I'm just gonna walk you through this one campfire picture that I'm doing. I might as well cut this too, huh? So I'm gonna put those aside because those are for another spread, which I'm gonna show you in a second. There's just a little white bar at the top I'm gonna cut off. So this is a functional spread here. Um, it's not a decorative spread, but I did want to incorporate a decorative sticker in it. Um, and the nice thing about these is that it's actually sticker paper. It's like built right in. You don't have to use an additional adhesive. You don't have to, you know, if you're traveling with this, you don't have to have anything separate. I'm like really bad at getting stickers off of things because I don't have long nails. So you'll have to bear with me for a second. So you can see it peels right off and it's a sticker adhesive on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and center this right where I want it. Perfect, like that. I went ahead, pulled out some stickers. These are by Lulu's Lovelies from Etsy, just to make it a little fun. Put a little fire, campfire sticker down there. This is a little sticker with um, roasted marshmallows on a stick, just to make it kind of fun and festive um, to finish that spread, because that was time we spent with friends. And then I'm going to go ahead and write in fun with friends. And that finishes off that spread. So now, like I said, I wanted to just kind of speed through some footage of me using my little Polaroid zip photos that I printed out to deck to uh, in a purely decorative spread so this half of the week we were traveling I was not working um, so I'm just going to use this collection of stickers that I have from station stickers it's one of her fall um, collections I will link the her shop and the Lulu's lovely shop below as well as um, you know where you can get the the Polaroid printer and all of that um, so I'm just gonna speed through this footage I'm not gonna talk through it just so you can see how I'm playing um, in a more you know the last one was a more functional spread this is definitely more decorative solely decorative so let's play So now you can see how I played with my Polaroid um, zip zinc pictures to make a really nice reflection of this long weekend we spent with family, um, I visiting my brother's family down in St. Louis, and just a really nice time we had together. Um, and this was just purely for fun decorative, um, so I wanted to show you how I use it both in a decorative spread and then more just in the middle of a very functional spread just for a little flair. Um, and I just think it's a really neat little product. I think it's so much fun. I love that the sticker is built right in so you can just stick it on. It actually is repositionable like you can move them around um, and they won't pull up the paper behind so that's really nice then they're a nice quality photo paper it does give a bit of I would say kind of almost an antique kind of cast to the photos but I actually personally really like the effect and I think it's really really cool and just a fun way to incorporate some fun stickers into your planner you can also print them out and just have them as little pictures that you give to family or friends if you're out on a go. Um, I stuck a few in the from our Hawaii trip in the front of my Midori Traveler's Journal here. Uh, so you can see I just they fit in really nice in these pockets and these are full sheet photos that I printed out. Um, so there's that. Um, and it's, you know, like I said, it's very portable, great for travel, uh, but also just a nice, neat thing to have at home. Instead of having to use a whole 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper to print on your printer, to print just a few things at a time, um, 
you can use this. And I just think it's just a fun thing and would make a really cool gift to a scrapbooker who travels a lot or somebody who loves to decorate in their planner, either just a little bit or kind of frequently. I mean, it's just a nice versatile little gift and a fun thing to play with. As you can see, it's just a fun little extra thing. Do I think everybody on the planet needs this? No, but like I said, if you're a big on scrapping or planned planner decorating or even just having, you know, the ability to print small photos whenever, wherever you want, this might be a really fun thing for you. I think it'd make a great gift. Um, and it's definitely something fun to plan with for sure in my experience. That's how I primarily use it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I use it in my planner. And the nice folks at Erin Condren not only provided me with this one, which was super sweet of them to let me test out, they also provided me a kit to give away to one of you. So this will include this beautiful neoprene case, a brand new Polaroid Zip mobile printer, um, 50 pack of the zinc photo paper, and the little sticker that matches to go on top of the printer, whether or not you choose to use that. Um, so that was really nice of them to do as well. It's gonna be one of my standard giveaways. It will run for one week's time. It's open internationally. If you're under the age of 18, I just ask that you have parental permission to enter and I will email the winner directly as always. So good luck to all who choose to enter. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little review of the Polaroid Zip printer and how I use it. I'd love to know if you have one or something similar, how you use yours. I think that would just be so fun. I'd love to hear, so please do share. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.